I would like to acknowledge that we meet today on Ghana country and I pay respect to all First Nations peoples past, present and future. This is one of the most interesting images in the centre of democracy. This is a copy of a small watercolour by Martha Berkeley, one of the first European landscape artists to come to South Australia. It is often called Governor Gawler's Feast for the Aborigines. Let's look closely at this image and ask ourselves three questions. What's going on in this picture? What makes me say that? And what else can I find? This technique is called BTS, Visual Thinking Strategies. And in this situation, BTS equips you with the skills to observe, to reflect, and then to collaboratively discuss historical artwork. In this context, it's extended to HVTS, Historical Visual Thinking Strategies. Let's get started. What's going on in this picture? Allow me to tell you what's happening. The person standing in the middle of the circle is Governor Gawler, the colony's second governor. The first governor, Governor Highmarsh, was recalled to England after two years for two main reasons. Firstly, the colony was having financial problems. And secondly, he hadn't been successful in establishing good relationships with the people that had been here for millennia, the Aboriginal people. So Governor Gawler arrives in October of 1838 and within three weeks he has planned this event. We are fortunate to know a lot about this event as Martha Berkeley kept lots of notes on the back of the watercolour and also it was reported in the local gazette the next day. We even have a copy of the speech that Governor Gawler made. This event is taking place on the country that the centre of democracy is built on where we are standing as we make this video. It's summer, 1838. This party shows a significant turnout of well-dressed colonists surrounding a group of around two to 300 Aboriginal men, women and children with three elders. The tallest is Malawira Burka, to his left is Katalapina and to his right is Ichimapina. They were among those who received clothes for the occasion and they have their spears, clubs and spear throwers. These three men were prominent in the early period of colonisation. The artist has captured the actual moment that some of the food for the guests, the Aboriginal people, is being poured on the ground. Governor Gawler, in full dress uniform as Lieutenant Colonel in the 52nd Light Infantry, and wearing plumes that he was famous for, is reading a declaration to the Aboriginal people. The protector, the Aborigines, Wyatt, who also interpreted the speech, is standing to Governor Gawler's side. Apologies in advance for the language. Black men, we wish to make you happy, but you cannot be happy unless you imitate white men. Build huts, wear clothes, work and be useful. Above all, you cannot be happy unless you love God, who made heaven and earth and men and all things. Love white men. Love other tribes of black men. Learn to speak English. If any white man injure you, tell the protector and he will do justice. Let's think carefully about this language. Imitate, wear clothes, love God, speak English, work and be useful. What was actually offered at this feast on the day? Food off the ground, the so-called chiefs dressed by the new arrival colonists Nothing like the person who holds the power, Governor Gawler. Look closely to the right-hand side of the painting. 
a marquee. This is where the prominent colonists ate their meal. So, were Aboriginal people, the invited guests at this event, given the opportunity to imitate, to be like the colonists, even if they had wanted to? Our closing thought, think about the contradictions. Imitate us, be like us, work and be useful. Who is making who welcome?